What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with yet again another WWE action figure ranking video. You guys know how we do. We have a whole playlist on the channel. Go check it out if you guys have missed some other superstars. We've done plenty. We got plenty more to do in the future. But today, man, we're taking a look at one of my personal favorite wrestlers of all time, the game Triple H. Triple H just recently retired around WrestleMania. You know, he came out of WrestleMania 38 on night two and officially put his boots down, and he has officially retired from the game, man, and I pretty much witnessed his entire career for the most part. He was one of my, I mean, I despised him growing up as a kid because he was constantly crushing my hopes and dreams as a heel, but he's one of my favorites of all time, man. Just a true warrior of the game, super badass character. I've always loved him, his entrance, his theme, his wrestling ability, his character. He's just amazing. So today, man, we're going to take a look at some of his badass action figures, and we're going to rank every single single Triple H Elite and Ultimate Editions. I did throw his Ultimate Editions in here. We got a couple of those. We don't have one of those in hand yet, but it is pretty nice. We'll get into that. And we actually have a couple of bonus figures in here because they were technically basics, but they were Elite figures. They they crush basics, man. This, these are Elites, and we're going to get into that as well. But anyways, man, let's go over the sections real quick. At the top of the ranking, you do have Go Buy It. If I put a figure in the Go Buy It section, that means that it needs to be on your, go, like, it needs to be on your Buy It section. It needs to be in your your collection at some point. You need to go out of your way to purchase this and add it to your collection. It is that damn good. Underneath that, you have good figure, which is really good figure. If you want to add it to your collection, I wouldn't bat an eye. I'd be like, hell yeah, man, that's a great figure right there. Next is meh, which means you're not quite like amazing of a figure. You're not a bad figure, but I can't, you know, you're not all the way there yet. So that is my meh tier. We also have barely acceptable. Barely acceptable means that you have one good quality about you that's keeping you from the bottom and the bottom is going to be the garbage and you don't want to be in the garbage man that means you don't really have anything good about you i can't really find a good quality about you you are garbage you let me down you're a disappointment to your mother and i get the hell out of my face do not add it to your collection it's a waste of money practically so with all those things being said let's dive into the ranking and we're starting things off with a very interesting figure actually it is going to be the elite series 86 triple h and it's the chase version i immediately am going to go good figure I don't think it's like must buy or must have. It's not one of his iconic gears. It's not a bad figure whatsoever. You get some really good stuff going on. You get the DX shirt. You get some good stuff going on. It's just not quite go buy it. I think it's a good figure, but it's not quite over the top there. And I'm going to put in good figure. It could go mad, but I'm going to go good figure. I'm going to give it its due. I'm going to tip the cap, and I'm going to go good figure. Next up is the Attitude Era Triple H. I want to say these have the same exact head sculpt. These two, you know, the 86 Chase and the Attitude Era. You get a great leather jacket. You get a Triple H in jeans. You get the DX shirt. I don't know if it's go buy it though. It's kind of a boring figure, but it's a really good figure. I think what I want to do, I think I'm going to go good figure. I'm just going to put it above this one right here. I love the jacket. I love that it's a jeans. You can make so many different guys. You can make Stone Cold. You can do a John Moxley, Dean Ambrose. Like There's a lot of good things. That could move up to go buy it, but I'm going to put in good figure for now. Next up is the best of pay-per-view build-a-figure Michael Cole, I think. And this figure, again, is good. It's not my favorite. Like I hate the big plastic overcoat thing. A lot of people actually like that. I love the helmet. I do not like like these large overthrows covers up the entire figure I, you're better off just buying a basic and then buying the accessory so that's where i kind of draw the line on it i don't think it's the best figure ever i honestly want to put it in meh i actually think some people will have that as one of their favorite triple h's ever it's just not for me man i just think it's a meh i think there's a lot better triple h's out there i think you can go a lot higher in quality with triple h that's not one of my favorites in fact i think it's meh it's not bad it's not the greatest it's meh in my opinion next up this one is one of the bonus figures, man. The Battle Pack with Daniel Bryan. This figure right here is crazy good, and it's go-buy it worthy. It is absolutely fantastic. You can make all kinds of different guys in suit and tie. It's one of his best figures ever made, and it's a freaking Battle Pack, bro. Found that at Kmart one time, just chilling there, and then I found it at Target like three years later after it had been gone, and I didn't buy it for whatever reason, but it was still there, and it's a beautiful piece. It has ab crunch. It has way more articulation than any basic you've ever seen. It's not a basic, man. It's an elite inside of a basic two-pack. That Triple H throws hands and it has a damn good head sculpt for the time period. Pretty much perfection. It's go buy it. Next up, the Elite two-pack with China with the sexy robe. I'm gonna put this one in good figure as well. I think it's above the Chase variant. I don't know if it's above the Attitude Era figure. I do like it a lot. I like the head sculpt. I love the long robe for Hunter Hearst Helmsley there. It's not my favorite gear. It's not very, you know, you get the China with it, but we're not counting the China two-pack, man. We're counting the Triple H Elite on its own. Do you need to add it to your collection? It's 
it's good figure. I don't think it could be meh, actually. But that damn jacket is nice. That robe, that entrance robe, puts it up there. It's here. You notice all these guys right here have cloth goods, keeping them out of the meh category. If these guys didn't have any cloth goods, they'd be in meh. Absolutely, they probably would be. Next up is another, the Toys R Us Mail Away Triple H. Now, a lot of people probably don't even know about this figure. This is one of those buried gems, but this is a Mail Away Toys R Us exclusive. I actually have it in my collection, and it's just like the other Triple H, except it is uh, by itself. It's a ba it's in basic packaging. COO Triple H is kind of what it is there. Not my favorite head sculpt on it. I do love the suited body. I want to say it has the exact same articulation as the Go Buy It. It's a pretty damn expensive figure. I don't like it as much as the Battle Pack with Daniel Bryan, but I still think it's a Go Buy It worthy. Uh, you can make plenty of custom guys out of it, so I think if you were to add it to the collection, you'd get a lot of different variety and lots of stuff to play with there, so I think this COO Triple H is Go Buy It, but it may cost you a lot of money. Next up is Defining Moments Triple H. I freaking love this figure, and it's actually a figure that has eluded me my entire collecting life of WWE Elites, man. I cannot get my hands on that figure loose with the clothes. I can't find it mint on card for my collection. It's one of those that I'd love to have mint on card. It's just one of those that eludes me. I have the jacket, and I think I have the shirt, but I do not have the pants. I don't have the base figure. It's one of those that I'd like a couple of for different fix-ups, but I can never get my hand on it, but it's so damn good. I love the tr the return trunks. That Iron Cross is iconic. Head sculpt's not the best, but like you get a freaking beautiful jean jacket and jeans with a shirt. It's amazing. Amazing figure. Perfection. They need to redo this figure in some way, but not quite the Defining Moments level, but they do need to redo that figure from that era and give us those trunks again. Next up is the Decade of Domination Triple H. I love this figure. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. I'm going to put it in good figure. Uh, yeah, I like it right here. I like this figure a lot. It's very, it's a different gear. It's not your favorite gear. I don't think it's a must-have, but I still think it's really, really good, and for that reason, I'm putting it in good figure. Nothing over the top there. Next up is Elite 23 Triple H. This one's meh for me. Uh, I think since we got the Legends figure, that one kind of puts this one to shame, unfortunately. I don't think you really need this Elite 23. It's kind of meh. Not my favorite figure. Beforehand, it wasn't my favorite either. It is a cool attire, but it's still not my favorite ever. I'm going to put it in meh. Just, I think there's better options for you there. Next up is Elite Series 28. I like this figure a lot, but I don't know if it's go buy it worthy. I'm going to put it in the good figure section. Uh, I love the black tape. I love the two sledgehammers you get. You do get the helmet accessory. It's a really cool figure, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's quite go buy it, but it is sick. I like the change up of the black tape. It was a really cool figure there in Elite 28. I think it's solid. Next up is the two-pack Triple H with Jeff Hardy, and oh boy, this is kind of a toss-up because it's very similar to the Ultimate Edition. It's practically the Ultimate Edition, except it doesn't have double jointed arms, and it doesn't have the Ultimate Edition torso, so it's it got the same head. It's got pretty much the same trunks, but with the gold overlay for the two-man power trip. Ooh, I don't know if I want to put good figure or if I want to... Yeah, I'm going to go good figure here. I'm going to go here with it. I'm just going to go there with it. It's really tough because if you're counting the two-pack, it's an absolute go buy it, but since it's, you know, on its own, it's a base Triple H there, I think it's good. I don't think it's must-have, so I'm going to go good figure right there. Next up is Elite 35 Triple H, and again, man, I'm going to go meh here. I think I like it better than this one. I don't know. They're kind of a toss-up. They're very similar, again, with the hard, solid rubber overcoat thing. Just wasn't a fan of the gimmick, man. Not a fan of the gimmick there with that. Uh, you know, it, it covers up the whole figure. It engulfs the figure. You can't even see it. It does have the helmet. It's the, you know, shaved head Triple H. It is from his match with Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30, I do believe, is the gear there. But it's just not one of my favorite figures. I think there's better Triple H's there. And that solid rubber thing gets on my nerves. So I'm going to go with the meh category for Triple H. Got a lot of stuff all over the place right now. Next up, man, I think this is Elite Series 60. And this one's damn good. This one and the next one are very damn good. But I don't know which one is go buy it and which one's good figure. They're very similar. One just has black calves instead of skin calves. But they have very similar accessories. Sledgehammer, jacket, you know, like sleeveless jacket. Ah, is it only? I feel like both of them are damn good though, man. I honestly want to put them in go buy it. So you have your Elite 60, but you also have your Elite 73. And they're both really damn good, man. Uh, uh I guess as it stands, right? This is Triple H's like last match, right? Like, um, or his last WrestleMania match, right? I think this is his match with Batista, I think. Oh, man. These 
figures are virtually the exact same, but I feel like they're so good. I feel like it would be super, like, kind of just, I, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of offensive not to put them both in the same section, but I feel like w at least one of them are must-have. I guess what I could do is, like, they represent each other, I guess. Like, if you're gonna get one, don't get the other kind of deal. So I'll put one and go buy it, one and good figure. I guess, like, gun to my head, I guess go elite. Oh, God, that's hard because their trunks are so fire. I love both their trunks. They're both sick as hell. Uh, I just go elite 73. You know what? Elite 73 for, for just sentimental reasons. I guess. Uh, that's a tough one, man. But I put one in good figure, one in go buy it. You can make your decision there, but they're both very good. I love them both. And if you wanted them both, that's fine with me too. Next up, Elite 7. I honestly feel like this figure is kind of overrated. I love the accessories, but the head sculpt's dreadful. It's just like Elite 2 with this head sculpt. It's dreadful. Uh, I don't particularly like the trunks. They are DX related, but I don't really love the trunks design on that one. I'm going to put this one in good figure. I do like its accessories a lot, but uh, I don't think it's like must have. I, I, you know, it's one of those figures. I think if you have Elite 7 Sean, maybe pair him up there. That's a must-have for your collection, but eh. I'm gonna go good figure on now. Elite 86 Triple H, the regular version. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put Elite 86 in good figure, and I'm gonna drop the chase into meh, just because I think I'd rather have the regular version over the chase. It's more iconic, right? Those purple long tights. You got your ladder match with Rock. You know, you got it's a lot more value to that figure. I think it's a lot better than the chase there. Uh, you get the same exact accessory, so I'm gonna go Elite 86 Triple H over that one. And uh, they didn't get the color quite right. You know, it's not perfect, but I still think it's better than the chase, and I'm gonna drop the chase down there. I think that I like that maneuver right there. Next up is Elite 2 Triple H. And this one has really sick shirt. The shirt is insane. The trunks aren't bad, really. It comes with cool accessories. Water bottle, sledgehammer, everything you'd want out of a Triple H. You can do a head swap with this guy, and it really cap. It makes him a lot better. Like, it's one of my favorite fix-ups ever. I need to do a whole video on my favorite fix-ups ever, where just one simple head swap changes the game for the figure. But I don't think it's quite, like, go buy it worthy. So I'm going to put it in good figure for now. We'll see where that goes. But I think that's fine right there. I think that's where I'm going to go with it. Speaking of which, we're going Going up into Elite Series 42 Triple H, and this one is real. I love the Terminator gear there, but. I, it's kind of funny, like, I say these things. The only Triple H figure I do not have is the Defining Moments, I'm pretty sure. And I own, like, five or six of this Elite 42 for future Trunks designs that I guess, you know, they're they're on the back burner, but it's it's something that I wanted to do. So I just, I got found them at five below, bought the whole section, right? And now they're just in waiting. But, ah, uh, I want to put it in meh, but I think it's better than these because it's a way cooler thing. But it's a good figure, man. I love that. Should we drop one of these down? Would I rather have Elite 2 Triple H? Or would I rather have... Oh, dude, the Triple H's are tough. You thought you were just going to click on this video and all. It's like, oh, they're just all wearing trunks. This is a very entertaining tier ranking right now. So I'm I'm kind of all over the place. I do not know what I want to do here. Very challenging. I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to come back to it. We got to move on. Next up is Fan Central Triple H, which is very good. This, the, the, the Decade of Domination, and the WrestleMania 35 Elite are virtually the same exact figure, except they have different trunks. So it's kind of, you know, you, you pick your poison there. I did not... Not like this era of Triple H right here. This is his reign of terror in 2000. 2003 here. Like, starting off, like, I love the Reign of Terror in a different way, but I feel like the red trunks right here, but, they, and I think they all had, like, a super loosey-goosey waist. I feel like you're better off just making your own custom. Oh, God. But I love Triple H figures, but it's like, I'm, I'm gonna put it in meh, I guess. God in heaven. Ranking Triple H figures, I did not think this would be this damn hard, honestly, but here we are. Next up is Network Spotlight Triple H. This one's cool. It has all your different accessories, right? You get your cloth robe, you get your cane, you get the Hunter Hearst Helmsley gimmick. I think this is actually a really good figure for what it is, what it represents. I think it's really, really good. If you want, if you're that Triple H hardcore fan, I think it's a must-have in your collection. But I don't think it's go buy it worthy. But it's really, really good. It's a really good figure there. It's near the top up here for sure. I think I own like five of them. Don't judge me, okay? I have like 60 Triple H elites. I told you he's one of my favorites of all time. So I, I, I'm struggling right now with this tier ranker, but I'm doing my damn best. I'm trying to put the elite in the elite, and then I'm trying to, you know, dwindle down here. Next up is is the Legends 13 Triple H. Now, this one, Brad, is a go buy it. I think it's it's one of his best figures ever, man. It's, it's really up there. Like, 
I love the, the suited body. It's just one of those underrated figures. The Legends 13 that's probably at your target right now. Fantastic head sculpt. Great accessories. You get the camo pants. You get the sick ass. My favorite long tights DX gear that he ever wore is right here. I've been waiting on that figure forever. Double jointed arms. It's absolutely go buy it. Not even a chance in the world. Go buy it right now from your target. I know it's there. If it's not there, check your app. Find a target around you and go buy the damn thing. Really good figure. Next up is the Toys R Us exclusive Elite Triple H. This one's meh for me. It's basically just a repaint of the Elite 28. You do get the cloth shirt, but I, I, I just, it's meh for me. Just not my favorite. I don't think it's the best figure. It's a solid head sculpt. I do like the head. Uh, I just don't, I think in package, if you're going for a mock look, it's really sick. It had insane packaging. I wish I had one of my own in mock. I, you know, I got into the mock game kind of late there, but I still think the figure is really cool. I just don't, it's, it doesn't move the needle for me as much there. I'm going to put it there in meh. Uh, I'll put it above the fan central just because it does have a sick ass claw shirt and a really good head. Uh, I, I'm going to leave it there. Again, man, ranking these Triple H figures is super hard for me right now. Next up is the Ultimate Edition Triple H. This one is go buy it. I know it has the old school Ultimate Edition torso where it's like the weirdness, you know, it doesn't have as much articulation. It doesn't have butterfly joints, but I think this is your perfect, this is your perfect early 2000s Triple H, man. You get your silver lettering. It's great head scope. You get the screaming head. You get your freaking beautiful weird hat that he used to wear, a golfer's hat, or it's not even a golfer's hat. I can't think of the, the name. It's not a fedora, but it's, it's you know, it's the weird hat there. It's a great figure. It really is. Uh, it's I think it's must have for any Triple H fan. You got to add it to your collection. It, it fits perfectly into your Ultimate Edition co collection. It fits perfectly in your Attitude Era, your early 2000s. There it is right there. Got to have it. Late 90s, early 2000s. You got to have that. Next up is the next Ultimate Edition. And I honestly think this is go buy it worthy just because if we're going to put one of these DXs, we have like three DX, uh, new edition, like Trunks edition. We do have more DX versions than what I'm saying here. But as far as like black trunks with the DX on it, we have the second edition of the Ultimate Edition. I think this is a fantastic figure. I'm going to put it and go buy it. It's one of those weirdies though. It's on Amazon, but it's like the pre-order's weird and it's coming at a later date and it's one of those things that is honestly getting on my nerves. Can't wait to have it in hand and review it. But at the same time, it's a very weird figure right now. I really don't know what to access about it, but I do love the shirt. I love the accessories. I love the head sculpts with the handlebar mustache. I think if you're a Triple H guy, it's one of those things that you need to have there. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's pretty good there. Next up is the DX Walgreens exclusive Triple H. Now, this is kind of where it's a toss-up. Like, do you want the Ultimate Edition or do you want the Walgreens exclusive? I like the Walgreens exclusive. And I, ooh, is it bad? I love the trunks a lot more than the Elite 7. And I like the head sculpt more than the Elite 7. But the accessories of the Elite 7 are better. But it's kind of which one do you want? And I'd rather, I think I'm going to go based on trunks designs. And I'm going to go Walgreens exclusive over that. Actually, oh God, I, I, I just, I'm struggling here. Here. Help me, God. Next up is the WrestleMania 33 Elite, based on WrestleMania 32. And this one's meh. You know, it's not my favorite. It's not the best thing ever. I'm going to put it, like, right in... You get the skull accessory, though. They had a really sick skull accessory. You got the WWE Championship. I think you also got a water bottle and a hammer. You may have just got the hammer. But it was really cool. I had... I have quite a few of that figure as well, man. Any Triple H they've released, I have multiple, multiple copies. So, that's where I stand. That's just what I am, man. I have a ton of Triple H figures, and I I love every single one of them so it's it's very fun there all right man coming up on our last two figures we have the wrestlemania 26 elite triple h uh i mean this is pretty much just a repaint of your elite two your elite seven like it's just a change of the trunks and then you're getting a cloth shirt ah it's just meh you know it's just meh it's not my favorite it's just one of those you know you just want it for the trunks you know cool packaging stuff like that but you get the wrestlemania 26 shirts which is kind of cool but nothing like iconic with Triple H there, I guess, as far as the shirt is concerned. So, I don't know. It's not like a must-have for anybody, unless you're trying to complete that, like, WrestleMania looks of Triple H. It's just whatever there, but at the end of the day, we got the WrestleMania 35 Elite Triple H, and I think I'm gonna put this one and go buy it, just because I really love the, the pinkish-purple trunks there from, you know, that era. And honestly, this is a very tough ranking for me. That is every single Triple H. I may have missed one. I don't think I did. This is 28 total Elites, Ultimates, and then I threw in the Battle Pack and the Mail Away, just because I think that they should count because they're so good and they are practically elites with all their artic articulation and they they can beat out a lot of elites in today that are released so that is just one of those things but i'm pretty happy with this ranking
ranking, again, I love the Fan Central figure. It can go up. I think the Elite 42 is super good. I think this figure is really good. I mean, all these figures in Matt are not bad. I don't even know if Triple H has a bad figure. It's just about how plain they are and stuff like that. I still think, I, I don't know if they've made a bad Triple H. Have they made a bad Triple H? Like, you could debate it all you want. But at the end of the day, I think that if you're a hardcore Triple H fan, I think this pretty much covers every era of Triple H right here in the go buy it section, you know, kind of, you know, missing maybe, you know, if you took the Elite 2 and stuck it up in there or, you know, one of those or, you know, you could get your WrestleMania 30 up in there or, or one of those like that. But at the same time, I still think that this encapsulate, I think the Defining Moments is his best figure ever. I think this Legends one's up there, the Ultimate, the Elite 73 slash 60. All of these are great, man. He really doesn't have a bad figure, but I had a ton of fun with the ranking. I'm struggling here still. I still think some of these could go up and down. But I guess I'm going to stick here. I, I honestly, I think it's disrespectful to have a few of these in the meh category. But uh, I tried my best to differentiate. I mean, the, the two-pack right here, Triple H, could fall a little bit maybe. And then I love the DoD Elite. Oh, man, so damn tough. It really is tough. Ah, oh, that that Terminator gear should honestly be in good figure to go buy it, but oh, man, that Terminator gear is sick, but it, I mean, it's just like a piece that goes over. I don't freaking know, man. I gotta, I gotta get the hell out of here, man. That wraps up my ranking. Let me know what you think the best Triple H Elite slash Ultimate it is. I'd love to know what your go buy a good figure, man, barely acceptable. Gar like, I don't even know if this is the first time ever we've never had a barely acceptable or garbage figure, but Triple H, it's crazy because across the board, when uh, in WWE, he always looked badass in video games he always looked badass in any art material music all that stuff man he was always portrayed as badass and i think it carried over into action figures because all his figures are super badass man if you wanted to add every one of these to your collection i probably wouldn't bat an eye i just think some are better than others kind of is where we stand so huge shout out to triple h man one of my favorites of all time and i uh, i love all his figures man can't wait to complete some more and collect some more but i'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts down below and don't cross the line. Well, I guess I, I don't I don't know. None, none of the figures here cross the line. They they killed it. They absolutely killed it. But if you're not a Triple H fan, you cross the line. I